am I've been asked from a few people what's wrong with my face and everything and when I tell them they've never heard of it and stuff so I thought I'd do a, just a little video about it Um, I got myself some notes off the internet just so I get everything correct so Bell's palsy is a condition that causes temporary weakness or paralysis paralyzed of the muscles on one side of the face is most common cause of facial paralysis paralysis I can't say that word so you can laugh at me all you want throughout the video because it's probably read more than once um, <clears throat> some of the causes that <clears throat> that how it happens is Children are born with facial weaknesses. Uh, injury to the facial nerve in an accident, such as a cut to the cheek or a skull base fracture. Injury from surgery. Um, most common during surgery to the gland or neck. And um, that's because it's the nerves in the back ear eardrum like down here that's how we have that's where the nerves are that m makes it do that mostly um, it can <coughs> go from person to uh, symptoms of Bell's palsy vary from person to person the weakness on one side of the face can be described as partially palsy is a mild muscle weakness or completely palsy which is no movement although this is very rare um, it can also affect the eyelid and mouth which I've got everything making it difficult to close and open them in rare cases it can affect both sides of the person's face now <clears throat> I'll get into it after I've read all this out but I have had it before so I've had it on each side um, as well as symptoms of Bell's palsy facial weakness or paralysis you can also be assigned of more serious conditions such as a stroke but um, the, the doctors told me <clears throat> the best way you know if it's a stroke or not is your eyebrow if you've got Bell's palsy your eyebrow won't move like I can move that one I can't move that one with a stroke your eyebrow still moves <clears throat> and as far as I know that's the only difference experience weakness in their facial muscles and 2 out of 10 will be left with more serious long term problems which <clears throat> include facial weakness eye problems, difficult with speech, eating and drinking, reduced sense of taste, facial muscle twitching. Now <clears throat> the first time I had it, it only lasted two weeks and it went back to normal um, it's been about two months now for this side. Um, the NHS website says it could take up to nine months but in the rare case some people don't get the the feeling back or movement back at all so fingers crossed that that's not me but I'll deal with it if it happens Bell's palsy may occur to up to 14% of people especially if their family history have, have got it um, no one in my family's had it yet uh, my dad if you've saw my memory video of him I talked at the beginning um, he had about 10 strokes in two years but his was caused from a cyst in the brain that if it moved slightly it gave him a stroke. Bell's palsy is more common in pregnant women and those with diabetes for reasons that are not yet fully understood. Well I'm not pregnant and I haven't got diabetes have been checked. Treating Bell's palsy, around 7 out of 10 people with Bell's palsy make complete recovery with or without treatment. 
Now the treatment you get when you've got Bell's palsy is you get um, two weeks of steroids and that's just to help with the swelling and everything on your nerves so that reduces a bit so then that will give your nerves more chance to recover but that's the only thing they can do just after that you just got to wait and see for it to get back to normal really uh, most people notice an improvement in their symptoms after about two or three weeks but a complete recovery can take up to nine months the recovery time varies from person to person and will depend on the amount of nerve damage <coughs> um, when I was saying about the steroids is the only thing the only other thing you can do is you've got to just keep going around in circles on your muscles um, just to keep your muscles moving so they don't go limp and and not recover it's like um, well it's not like what an example is <clears throat> say you've been on bed rest for six months or something and when you get up your legs are all wobbly because they're not used to it where <clears throat> so you won't be able to stand up properly where when you're on a bed rest you've got to like do leg exercise and everything just to keep your legs moving and for your blood to go round and everything it's a bit like that you just got to keep your muscles moving so the when if my face does get better it can just get on with it it doesn't have to relearn all your muscles um, eye drops may be required um, if you can't close your eyes properly which I've got like a gel that I put on uh, two drops of gel and you're supposed to blink a few times to get it around your eye it's just so your eye doesn't dry out but with I can't blink very well so I've just got to get my eyelid and just like smooth it around like that and get the bottom one to it's a pain but it has to be done um, on a night I've got like a Vaseline cream which I've got to shut my eye and then the gap that's open you just squeeze the Vaseline cream across the gap so that's another reason uh, so it doesn't get dry basically um, during the night especially how long I sleep um, some people use instead of the drops on uh, instead of the Vaseline because it can get a bit messy on your pillar and everything you know the sports tape and that it's not gaffer tape, it's some, I can't remember what it's called but what you put over the bandage and everything, it's not like proper sellotape some people and then the doctor suggested taping your eyes shut but none of my look or my eyelashes will come out or something when I take it off, off the next morning around 3 in 10 people with Bell's palsy will continue to visit your nearest A&E department immediately <clears throat> if you are developed sudden facial paralysis or if a doctor can't determine the cause which I've had it before so then I, I actually told the doctor it was coming on um, because I actually <clears throat> I went in with a nerve infection and my appointment wasn't until after dinner and that and during the day when I was eating my dinner my cheek felt a bit numb but everything was still moving so when I went in and I told him I think I'm going to have Bell's palsy and he says and he like did all the movie eyebrows and all that stuff and he says well you haven't got it yet so I can't diagnose you with it and this was on a Friday so I couldn't get to the doctors until Monday or I've got to wait all day in 
walking centre and stuff like that. But and I was like, well, can you not just give it me? And he was like, no, I can only give you the antibiotics for your ear infection. And about 10 o'clock Friday night, just automatically within seconds, my face just dropped. And I, I, oh, I was cursing the doctor. So you should have just listened to me. But they can only treat what they can see, I suppose. Um, so I had to go into the walking centre the next day. Um, just tell them what what's gone on and I got the and uh, the steroids which was a pain and half my day wasted but never mind why does this happen Bell's palsy is believed to occur when the nerve that controls the muscle in your face becomes compressed the exact cause is unknown although it is thought to be because the facial nerve becomes inflamed possibly due to a viral infection um, the herpes virus is thought to be the most common cause but other viruses may be responsible who is affected Wells palsy is a rare condition that affects about one in five thousand people a year so that is quite a lot really if you think how many people are actually here and every one in five thousand it's common in people aged 15 to 60 but people outside the age group can also suffer um, page two So that's just a little bit about it. Um, the first time I got it was about two years ago and I had a migraine for about two weeks and it just wouldn't go. And then one day the migraine was like the whole side of my left head, the left side of my head and it was really bad and I went to bed and I woke up during the night and there was really bad pain behind my ear and I just thought nothing of it, took some painkillers and everything the next day I, it was still really sore just along here just this part and I thought oh the migraines moved and it's absolutely killing um, <clears throat> and about dinner time sat down to eat my dinner and every time I was having a sandwich and every time I chewed the feeling got less and less and less and less until the point where all my food was just getting stuck and I couldn't chew because you've got to chew on the opposite side because it just all bundles up in your cheek because you, you like can't move it around to chew on that side so um, <clears throat> I thought I was having a stroke to be honest and I phoned the doctors and they said you got to go straight to A&E and, and I said well can I not just go in come in to see the doctor see what they say I said because it's only affecting my face there's no part of my body like my arms or, or anything all my feelings there so they said yeah come in straight away so I come in and then that's when she did the eyebrow test and she says, oh, I know what this is, don't worry, it's not a stroke, it's Bell's palsy. So I was like, oh, what's that? So when she explained it and that, I thought, oh, it's not too bad then. And she said, just keep massaging your face and take these steroids. <clears throat> and if it's not gone in two weeks, come back. Um, <clears throat> so... I took the steroids, I went back because it was still, it got a bit better but it was still like there and she said, and she just says, well there's nothing else we can do, you just got to wait and, and see really, so it's just keep massaging and it's getting, it's got better since you first come in so you should be alright. 
So about two days later I woke up and it was just all back to normal. Just like magic it was. And <clears throat> I was I was it was just strange how a migraine can end up paralysing your face. So <clears throat> I just I just did a bit of reading on it and that and she she said uh, the nurse also said or the doctor also said you'll probably never get it again in your lifetime she says because it's that rare <clears throat> and I was like all right never thought about it again and then when I woke up with a ear infection on this side <clears throat> I just didn't think now of it I had a sore ear I didn't even think about Bell's palsy because it was just an ear infection I'd had ear infections before nothing had happened um, <clears throat> and that's when I made an appointment I've got a ear infection can I come in to get some antibiotics and when I put the phone down about three hours later that's when my cheek started to go numb and I went to the doctors um, so it's been about two months now my mouth has got a lot better um, I've actually been taking sips out of a cup without a straw because that side has got a bit more movement in I still it still dribbles if I like gulp but to take little sips yeah, it's all right um, I can do that I could never do that before so that's more movement um, my eye <coughs> is nearly shut all the way now um, it's just my cheek and my eyebrow really um, <coughs> the blurriness and the dizziness, dizziness stopped after about two weeks so probably the steroids helped that because I was it was like the room was spinning all the time it never happened with this side but it it is a symptom that you can get is blurriness and dizziness in in the eye that's affected so the first two weeks I was I felt like I was drunk and the room was spinning that's how it felt and I just kept walking and stuff and losing my balance and tippling into the wall and and stuff like that <clears throat> um, the blurriness took a bit longer to go away actually I'd say it was about a month before the blurriness went in my eye so that was a struggle when I was out and about with the sun shining in my eyes so this eye's closing because it's dead sunny and bright and then this eye was all blurry so <clears throat> And I fell off a few curbs while I was walking. Good job I was holding on to George, so I never fell on my arse, but... <clears throat> yeah, it's a weird feeling. But... Um, I am okay. Compared to a lot of people in the world that have got worse stuff to deal with than me. That's the way I think about it. Um, yeah, I hate editing at the moment, I have to admit, because I hate seeing me talking, because I just look like Hunchback of Notre Dame with a screwed up face. It's horrible. But i just got to get past that. I mean, there's people with disabilities where they can't walk, or people that are blind or deaf or lost a limb and and I, and I just think just be grateful you can still do everything it hasn't affected the rest of your body you don't need crutches or a wheelchair or oh, excuse me I've just had pancakes for dinner it was a treat I needed sugar um, but I just feel grateful that it's not affected my life as as much as just my appearance so 
I think that is it and it's probably going to be a long video so I apologise for me waffling on and I'll see you all Sunday. Bye.